Having solar panels and home storage batteries are only part of the solution to reducing your energy bills. The electricity tariff that you're on is the other crucial part of that equation, and when picked carefully, can really take your savings to the next level. Smart tariffs that have a few hours of cheap electricity are a great way to reduce your electricity bill by hundreds of pounds each year. But have you ever wondered if you're using yours to its full potential and whether there's anything else you could be doing to nudge your electricity use to 100% off-peak consumption? In this video, I'm going to show you our everyday home routines that we use to consistently achieve an off-peak consumption of over 98% resulting in an average price per kilowatt hour of under 7p. Welcome back to the channel, my name's Shan. Off-peak tariffs have been around for years in the form of Economy 7. These off-peak tariffs have a cheap rate for several hours, typically overnight when electricity is significantly cheaper than the peak rate. Off-peak tariffs have become more popular with EV, heat pump and solar storage system owners who are incentivized to shift their electricity use into these cheaper time slots when electricity demand is lower. This reduces strain on the grid, lowers costs for energy providers and consumers, and uses electricity from greener sources, reducing carbon emissions. Over the past eight years, we've been on a variety of smart tariffs, with off-peak slots of varying rates per kilowatt hour, duration, and some that have even paid us to use as much electricity as we could. During this time, we've used a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, or PHEV, added more solar panels taking us to a total of 8.31 kilowatt peak of solar across two arrays, installed an 8.2 kilowatt hour battery with a 3 kilowatt battery inverter and replaced our PHEV with a fully electric vehicle in our Nissan LEAF. As we've added more energy generating and consuming equipment to our home, we've needed to figure out what to use and when to achieve the largest savings and export payments in a way that doesn't impede our everyday life. Our current import tariff is the Eon Nextdrive V6 tariff, which gives us 7 hours of off-peak electricity at 6.1p per kilowatt hour between midnight and 7am. We combine this with the Eon Next Export Exclusive V2 tariff, which pays us a flat rate of 16.5p per kilowatt hour. Crucially, these rates are fixed for 12 months, and therefore will not change even if energy prices rise again later in the year. If you're thinking of joining Eon, check out our channel referral link in the video description box below to split £100 energy credit between you and the channel. Okay, so now we know the background, let's find out some of the ways we achieve that over 98% off-peak electricity consumption. Starting with our high-consuming items in our kitchen and utility. We used to run our dishwasher during the day to soak up some of that solar. But, as we've seen, our import cost of electricity is 6.7p, and export is 16.5p per kilowatt hour. So it absolutely makes sense to export everything we can during the day. We now run our dishwasher before we go to bed at midnight or use a delay start function for it to come on at a certain time. We also run our Panasonic bread maker in this cheap window on a timer so we have freshly baked bread when we wake up in the morning. As a family of six, we do a lot of washing, especially of muddy football kit. In the winter, we run two loads of washing off the battery before midnight on an eco cycle. And once done, we'll stick it in our heat pump dryer, ready to come on overnight. Whilst not without risk, our heat pump tumble dryer is significantly safer to run than traditional tumble dryer technology. In the summer, we set our washing machine to come on overnight and finish just before 7am, ready to hang out on the line. We also boil enough water in our kettle before the cheap slot finishes for our cups of tea in the morning and top up an insulated flask for the next couple too. Given that we only have a 3 kilowatt battery inverter, within reason we tend to use high consuming kitchen appliances one after the other in the winter, so we don't have to draw from the grid during the peak period. In the summer the solar array provides a buffer, not to have to worry about having a few items on at the same time. I used to get hung up on trying to figure out how much to charge my home battery during the cheap period. In the winter though, it was easy. Just charge it to full as we'll more than likely need a full battery with less solar kicking about. But in the summer, I debated whether I should charge it at all or just let solar fill it up. And then once full, export any excess back to the grid. However, with solar export rates being nearly three times as much as it costs for me to import the electricity in the first place, I just keep it simple and set my battery to charge to 100% all year round. No more faffing around, looking at weather predictions, or spending time and money on smart technology to automate it all. 
According to the Department for Energy Security and Net Zero, 18 to 23% of domestic energy is used for hot water heating. In our house, we have three shower rooms, two with electric showers, and the other shower connected to our 300 litre unvented hot water cylinder. In the past, we would heat the water in the cylinder using gas, but given that the price of gas has significantly increased and the efficiency of our 25 year old boiler isn't great, it makes sense for us to use the cheaper 6.7p per kilowatt hour electricity to our advantage. During the week, we're up early most mornings, well in advance of 7 a.m., to get the kids to school and ourselves to work, and we use our 9 kilowatt electric showers. During these cheap off peak hours, we also set our two electric immersions to heat up the hot water in our super insulated hot water tank. This then gives us plenty of hot water for the rest of the day to use in the kitchen, bathrooms, and shower supplied by the hot water tank. This has meant we've not had to use as much gas to heat our hot water. Our 30 kWh Nissan Leaf covers anywhere between 20 to 40 miles daily. We simply plug it in each night to charge throughout the off peak period, either using our granny charger or fast charger, depending on how much charge is left on the battery. This works really well, and we could essentially just set and forget, allowing the car to call for charge between midnight and 7am. In the winter, we also schedule the Leafs preheat, first drawing off the traction battery, which can then be topped up in the off-peak period, meaning we lose very few miles of range in exchange for a defrosted windscreen. So with our current 7-hour off-peak tariff from E.ON, we've been able to achieve over 98% off-peak consumption averaging around 700 kilo hours each month in this cheap period. It really helps the off-peak hours being more accessible, last thing before we go to bed, when we wake up in the morning, and just being able to set and forget whatever we can to come on in this cheap period. I hope you found that useful, and if you're planning on getting solar panels and or battery storage, you should check out this video over here, where I break down everything I learned about my solar storage system over the last 10 years in just 14 minutes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.